my name is Mutin Tanyanga. Welcome to Let's Go Farming. And today we are looking at how to plant different types of spices. We are here at Mujenje Farms and Mr. Mabambo will be explaining to us on how to do that. Stay tuned. Welcome to Sami Fisheries, a home of variety. We found catfish, tilapia, fingerlings, poultry and livestock. At Sami Fisheries, we work as a community in order to contribute to Zambia's food basket. Our produce markets beyond Livingston. We are found in Livingston at plot number 4993 slash 4994 off Mosotunya Road along Maramba River. For details, you can call us on 0977 78 6175 or 0978 03 3582 or email us at samsimango at hotmail.com Okay, we are now joined by Mr. Mawembo, who is a farm manager here. How are you, sir? I'm fine, uh, thank you, and uh, you are most welcome. Thank you so much. Mochenje Farms. Okay. My name is Peter Makwembo. Yeah. Okay, we really appreciate to have yes, us sir. here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you viewers and yeah, how we plant uh, the herbs, mm -hmm. the spices. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of spices here at Mochenje Farms, mm -hmm. but I'm going to tell you only the few of them, maybe about five. Uh, rosemary, uh, thyme, and uh, locket, and coriander, yeah, and uh, flat parsley. Okay. Yes, yeah. Right. Uh, so we're starting with what? Yeah, we're going to start with uh, rosemary. We'll okay. start with rosemary. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, rosemary, uh, the preparation, mm -hmm. just have to, to till the, the land or in a bed. Okay. Yeah, where you have, so you get, get a fork and then you mix, you mix that soil, mm -hmm. then you put in some manure, chicken manure or cow manure, yeah, or decompound, mm -hmm. yeah, then you have applied those. Like for rosemary, you can do rosemary from seed, okay. yeah, but sometimes seed is very difficult to find it. Yeah, that means if you have uh, a plant of, ros of rosemary, mm -hmm. then you can uh, do some cuttings, just plant some cuttings. Okay, yes, so yeah. this is rosemary? Yeah, this is rosemary, like for example, you want to plant uh, a, new a new plant. Okay from the bigger plant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just check on the, yeah, you can see there are some lots here. Okay. You can see some lots here. Mm -hmm. Then what you do, then you just cut. Okay. You just cut here. Cut the stem. Yeah, cut the stem. Okay. Then uh, you have already prepared your soil. Mm -hmm. Then just make a hole. Okay. Yeah. And you plant, just plant it like this. Okay. Yeah. So for those that don't know how rosemary looks like, this is how it looks like? Yeah, that's how the way rosemary looks like. Okay. Yeah, it's a beautiful leaves as you can see. Yes, yeah. Okay, so mm. how do you water it also? Uh, we use a, a water can, a water can or a pipe. Okay, you don't water on top? No, you just water here. You just water around, around just here. Around it? Yes, yeah. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, All right, so mm. the way it's looking, it's ready. How, how do you... Uh, we harvest? We harvest it, yes. Uh, yeah, the way we harvest the rosemary, we just uh, go like uh, like this one. Do you get leaves by leaves? Uh, no, you just uh, go like uh, here, mm -hmm. like here, then you cut it like this, okay. then you put it uh, in, uh, in a plus bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then you can, you can send, it, send it to the market in a, in a pack, in 100 grams or whatever gram they, they like. Okay, yes, so this yeah. is fresh one? This is a fresh one, yes. Yeah. And then for, uh, well, how about, do, can you also use it as a dried one? Yeah, you can also dry it, also it's nice, if you dry it as well it's also okay. So how, how do you dry it? Now you just dry it, uh, dry it on the sun. Okay, there you can see, you can see there, there's some, um, a safe there, just put it there. Oh, so there, that's where you put your spices? Yeah, yeah, that's where we put our spices, on sun dry. Alright, and for someone who's watching you at home, they don't have those sun dries, 
Can uh, they put on a sack? How can yeah, they, yeah, they can sacks? put on an empty sack or 25 kg minimum empty sack. Mm -hmm. You put it on the sun, then you put your spices there, then it will dry out. Okay. Maybe two to three days it will be ready. Mm -hmm. Yes, you don't have to dry too much because okay. uh, the smell or the aroma will finish if you stay too long for on the sun. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm. So mm. this rosemary, yeah. how, do you, how do you use it? In uh, what kind of foods do you apply or do you mix with rosemary? Uh, this rosemary, they use it in hotels or lodges, especially in the dishes, in cooking and so on, like uh, in chicken. Mm -hmm. Or and if you want to do blai, you can use it. Okay. Yes, they use most cooks, they use most cooking things. Okay, and, yes. and, and the Zambian foods, where can you put the rosemary? Uh, the Zambian foods, can you, can, can you, uh, you can put in a chicken, then it will be fantastic, it will be nice. Okay, <laughs> yes. how about beef? Uh, beef also, yeah, it works well, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. But there is one which, which works well for beef time. Okay. It's, yeah, we will go to time later from now. <laughs> Remember, we are from the rosemary. Here, where we are, what's the name of the spice? Uh, this is now thyme. This is thyme. thyme. Yes, yeah. Okay. Uh, for this one, for thyme, mm -hmm. uh, you have to plant uh, from seed. Okay. Yes, you can get the seed from, I think, from Shoplight or other supermarkets. Mm -hmm. Yes, then you can plant in, in trays or just on the soil. Mm -hmm. You can just like uh, broadcasting. If you like broadcasting, yeah. You spread it everywhere. Yeah, or, or just or in lines. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. When it germinates, it will be ready. It will take about uh, five weeks mm -hmm. when it is ready. Uh, the same principle on preparation of the soil. Mm -hmm. You prepare your soil nicely. Then from there you can measure the distance you want, or 30 centimeters by 30. Okay. Then you plant your thyme. Okay, and yes. you spread the seeds? Yeah, you sp you know, for planting you just have to put in holes. Okay, holes yeah, the yeah okay. 30 centimeters apart. Mm -hmm. Yes, or whichever centimeter measurement is uh, good for you. So yes. For this one, nothing like uh, removing from the stem the way we, you did with the rosemary. Yeah, now for this one, it it will definitely not work for for, for cuttings. It okay. will take time. Okay. Yeah, but this one because seeds are available in the supermarket, then just get your seed, you plant. Then when it is ready, you transplant. Okay. Yes. Do you water also? Uh, this one we also water. As you can see the the drip uh, irrigation. Mm -hmm. We use this drip irrigation. Yeah, just open the tap from there. Then sometimes you can also water it with a can or a long sprayer overhead, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. And how do you harvest it? Because I've seen it's more like it's bushy, like when it's yes, growing. Yes, yeah. on, on, harvest, on harvesting, mm -hmm. you just get your scissors, but you have to make sure you, you cut the leaves which are very fresh. Okay. Yes, you just... Uh, the like green ones. The green ones, the fresh ones. Like here, those are the fresh ones. Mm -hmm. Then you just uh, do like this, you just cut. So here, just cut, yeah. Okay. Then you put in in your plastic bag, and it's it's ready to go on the market. It can also be dried. Yeah, yeah. You can also dry this. Okay. Yeah, same principle. The way you dry rosemary, then you can also dry the same. Okay. Yes. And mm. uh, again, what kind of dish can thyme be used? Uh, thyme they use it a lot in hotels. Yeah, they use it a lot in hotels. No, I'm talking about the dish. What kind of the dish can you can you add thyme? Uh, you can add to even to a pork. Okay. You can add this, like us Zambians, mm -hmm. pork or mm -hmm. blai. I want to make blai. Mm -hmm. I can add a bit of some thyme. You can, Mungulubi. you can, yeah. You can see the smell. It smells nicely. Oh, yes, yeah, it does. yeah. So you can put there the new smoke. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. We are still talking about spices, different kind of spices here at Mujenje Farms. For now, we we'll go on a short break. We'll be right back. <laughs> In 
case you have just joined us, you are watching Let's Go Farming. And today we are looking at how to grow different types of spices. We are here at Mujenje Farms and we are talking to Mr. Magwembo, who is a farm manager here. And he's just teaching us on how to grow the spices. Mr. Magwembo, before we went on a break, we are looking at tam spice. And you are telling us what kind of dish that can go with this one. So now can you tell us, this one, you said it takes four weeks to be matured. So uh, how about this one? How long can it uh, be matured? Uh, time uh, takes about, uh, when you plant from seed, mm -hmm. it will take about uh, seven days to, to germinate. Mm -hmm. Then uh, from there, uh, three weeks to five weeks, it will be ready to transplant. Okay. Yeah, then when you have uh, transplanted it, mm -hmm. it will take about uh, one week, three weeks then it will be ready one to three weeks yes one to three weeks then it one, one month oh, one month two, one three, one, three one month one month three weeks oh one month one month three weeks yes oh. then it is ready to be harvested okay. why does it take a lot a lot of time compared to rosemary um i think it takes a lot of time because it's coming straight from from seed mm -hmm. whereby rosemary you get it from the cutting then it, they can come up very quickly. Oh, you get it from the stem? Yes, from the stem. Okay. Yes, but right. this one direct from seed. All right. Uh, before we go, anything else that maybe you forgot to say before we went on break, before we go to another spice? Uh, anything else you can tell the viewers? Uh, yeah, but on time, this is a nice, this is a nice herb. It's really a nice herb. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can use it in cooking. It's really nice. Especially yeah. pork, he said. Yeah, yeah, I can use it like with Zambians. You just put in pork. It smells nice. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yes. he, it smells nice. Uh, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so we go to the next one. Yeah, okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mogombo, we are from Time there, Time Spice. Now we are here. What's the type of, what's the name of this spice? Uh, this spice is uh, flat parsley. Flat parsley. Yes, flat parsley or Italian parsley. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there are different types of parsley. Yes, yes, there are two. There are two types. Yeah, which I know. So there is uh, this one, and then the other one is a uh, Moscow, Moscow parsley. But here you plant Italian parsley. Uh, but we have another. We have both. We have both. But where we are now is uh, flat parsley, which is Italian. Okay. It's yeah. mostly. In, uh, it comes from Italy. Uh, maybe they love it in Italian, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. All mm. right. Yeah. Can you explain to us how it grows? Mm. Yeah, the way we grow this one, uh, it's basically the same, like uh, thyme. You okay. just plant the seeds in your tray or on the ground mm -hmm. and then just water them nicely. Okay. Yeah, when they germinate, when they are ready mm -hmm. to be transplanted, then you just uh, transplant them. Okay. Yes, and then you just water them nicely. Yes, yeah. So for mm. this one doesn't need a stem, but uh, but seeds. Yeah, those seeds the stem mm. it won't work. Yeah, it's only seed. Okay. How yeah. long does it take to germinate? Uh, it also takes seven days to germinate. Just yes. like time. Uh, just like time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm. And to be mat to be matured. Uh, to be matured because after germinating they will take another three weeks to be ready to be transplanted. Okay. Then when they are transplanted again, they will take about. Uh, uh, one month, three weeks. Okay. Then they are ready to be to be sold. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm, then when you just want to pick, mm -hmm. just use your scissors. As usual. As usual. Mm -hmm. Just uh, get from there. Mm -hmm. Then you cut the stem. Then you cut. If you want, you can put into into bunches. You okay. Can, yeah. Oh, and sell as a as a bunch. Uh, as a small bunch, of fifty grams or something like that. Mm, even it smells nice. Yeah, it smells. This one they. They love it, they use it for cooking. In okay. cooking, it's good for cooking. Okay, what dish yeah. can you use? Uh, in cooking, uh, any dish in cooking, it's because it's of uh, a good flavor. Okay, then wha what is there a specific dish? Uh, you can use it like uh, in salads or garnishing, or garnish. Okay. Yeah, you can uh, you can oh, use any, anything, but this mm. one mostly is used for garnishing. Yeah, for garnishing you can use it. Okay. Yeah, or in pesto if you want to add up in pesto, you can mm -hmm. also still still use this one. Oh, okay. yes. Interesting. Um, um. So you can use for garnishing mm. when it's fresh. How about can you dry it as well? Uh, yeah, as well it works uh, on dried. Yeah, you can use it on dry. Yes, mm -hmm. if you want, you can mix them with uh, thyme, rosemary when they are dry. Mix them together. Okay. Then you make a mixed dried herbs. All right. <laughs> yes. 
Okay, viewers, we're still here at Mujenje Farms and we have looked so far um, different types of uh, spices, two of them, rosemary, thyme and Italian parsley. For now, we'll go on a short break. We'll be right back. Welcome back. In case you just join us, you are watching Let's Go Farming and today we are looking at different types of spices. We are here at Munjanje Farms with Mr. Magwembo who is just explaining to us on how to grow them. Before we went on a break, we are looking at Italian parsley. Now we are here. And tell us the, the type of this spice here. Uh, yeah, this spice here, it's, uh, we call it uh, coriander. Okay. Yes. But they, they look they they look similar, similar mm -hmm. to f flat parsley, but they are they are Flood different. The yeah, 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 they are different. This is coriander. Okay. Yes, uh, the way we plant this one, mm -hmm. you just prepare your your bed. Mm -hmm. yeah, after preparation, your bed, then you can plant it in fellows. Okay. Yeah, you just make some line. Then you, you, you just plant. put it there. Then from there, you cover the seed. Uh, not too much soil. Because okay. if you plant them too deep, mm -hmm. they will struggle to germinate. Okay. Yeah. They will take time to germinate. Yeah, if they are too deep, they can even not germinate. Oh. So just slightly, just uh, very slightly, yeah. Okay, so but this one also just seedlings, no stems? This one planting. just seed. Mm. This one just plant a seed, direct a seed. Okay. Then from there you water nicely. Mm -hmm. Then after seven days, it will germinate. Okay. Yes. How long does it take to, to, to grow? Uh, yeah. Then uh, after germination, it will take about about one month, about one month, three weeks as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then to two months it will be ready to harvest. Okay. Yes, it takes two months for harvest. So can you also dry this one or you use it strictly when it's fresh? Uh, no, this one you use strictly uh, as fresh. Mm -hmm. It works well when fresh. Dried doesn't work well. Okay. Uh, yes. All right. Um, okay. Um, the last spice, where, we, where are we going next? Uh, the last one will do basil. Okay. All right, yes. let's go. Welcome to Sami Fisheries, a home of variety. We found catfish, tilapia, fingerlings, poultry, and livestock. At Sami Fisheries, we work as a community in order to contribute to Zambia's food basket. Our produce markets beyond Livingston. We are found in Livingston at plot number 4993 slash 4994 off Mosotunya Road along Maramba River. For details, you can call us on 0977-786175 or 0978-033582 or email us at samsimango at hotmail.com. We are from Coriander, Mr. Magwembo. We are here. What's the name of the spice here? It's looking very nice as if it's a flower. Uh, this one, it's uh, sweet basil. Sweet basil. Yes, yes, okay. it's sweet basil. Why is it called sweet basil? There's also bitter basil? Uh, no, this is the name of okay. it. It is because it's a uh, nice, it's nice, f with nice flavor. Yeah, it is. Mm. Okay. Mm. Can you explain to us about sweet basil? You plant it. Mm -hmm. You plant your seeds on a nicely prepared soil yes. or in a seed trays mm -hmm. then you plant it there it also takes seven days to germinate okay. then uh, after germinating it will take another uh, three to four weeks to be ready to be transplanted mm -hmm. then from there you can transplant your your basil okay. into into a bed mm -hmm. yes and how long does it take to mature uh, it will take about uh, four weeks to five weeks then it will be ready Okay. Yes. Mm. All right. So before we go on the dish that you need to use the mm. basil, all the spices that we have looked at so far, we've looked at four. This is the fifth one. Mm. What kind of diseases are there for the spices, if there are any, and how can you treat them? Uh, there are diseases like the one we covered so far: mm. coriander, flat parsley. Yeah. And then uh, rosemary and rosemary. Mm -hmm. Thyme as well. And thyme as well. Mm. They're being affected with uh, with uh, red mite. Okay. 
Mm. Yes, yeah, they're being affected with all the spider. Yeah, mm. lady spider mites. Yeah. So how can you tell that this one is is affected? Uh, you can see them on the leaves. If you monitor the plants, you can see them on the leaves, but this one is fine. What, what's this one here? This is not a red spider, no? Uh, no, no, this one. Just an insect? Yeah, this one just an insect, no. Okay. Yes, yeah. All the right. leaves spider, they are very, very small things. Okay. Yeah, which they normally attack the leaves of the plant. Mm -hmm. Yes, but uh, we, we normally treat them, they are treatable. Okay. If you go, you want to use some chemicals, mm -hmm. Yeah, on the market there are plenty of chemicals, mm -hmm. yeah, like abamectin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can use that one for that, they need to clear them all. Okay, and for those who don't have money to buy the chemicals, traditionally how can they use? Uh, can they make any concoction? Uh, those who don't have money, as we said, uh, chili mm -hmm. or marigolds, you mix chili and marigolds, you pound them, then you just uh, soak them in water, mm -hmm. let them sit for three days, okay. then in that water you use it as a spray. Okay. Yeah, they need to clear them. Right. So is if for for chickens, I know there is a vaccination when they are they, they are chicks. You will vaccinate them to prevent them from diseases. So for the plants also, for the especially for the spices, can you prevent spices from diseases? Uh, yes, yes, you can uh, do a preventative spray. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a weekly weekly interval. You can you can do that. Immediately they germinate. Uh, immediately after transplant. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can you can do that. Even after germinating, immediately if you want to boost them, okay. you can uh, drench a uh, calcium drench, okay. uh, hundred uh, ten percent, ten percent of calcium just to boost them. Right. Yeah. Then from there, you can do some preventative for the diseases. Yes. Okay. Yeah, like basil, it also really affect like this time of the year when it's uh, the weather is not friendly, okay. when it's very very hot. But those those herbs they really love. Kuramant and Kuramant, you cannot even do any spray, they will mm -hmm. survive. Okay. Yes. So, for the spices, they grow well during cold season and rain season? And only Kuramant, in the Kuramant. Kula, which is Ju Ju July, August, somewhere there? Uh, you start from uh, March, okay. March, so April, May, June, June. July. Okay. Yeah, those months, August, they can, okay. uh, August is becoming hot. Okay. Yes, yeah. Okay, so what if you, 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 you plant in October? September, what happens? Uh, if you plant that time of the year, then uh, you really have to look after them. You have to provide them a bit of a shed. Okay. If you afford a shed net, as I said, mm -hmm. then you can... You the way can, it is here? Yeah, the way it is here. It blocks some of the... Sunlight. Yeah, some of the sun, yeah. Okay. So they don't like a lot of sun? Yeah, they don't like a lot of sun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if too much sun, uh, then the quality is not good. Okay. Uh, yes. All um, right, especially if you're doing for commercial farming, is it? Yes, yes, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So where do you sell your spices? Since here it's a commercial farm, where do you sell your spices? Uh, those spices, we sell them in all lodges along the Zambezi River. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sun International. We sell supermarkets, shop light, mm -hmm. also in uh, spa. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Do and some and some individuals they normally also buy. Okay. Yes. All right. Do you sell them outside outside Livingstone or just strictly Livingstone? Uh, we sell them outside Livingstone as well, like mm -hmm. in Vic Falls, uh, in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we sell them. Also, maybe in Joma, yeah, we might sell them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, we have it where we sell them. It's a very good thing. So now, when you want to use it on a dish, what kind of a dish can basil go with? Uh, basil, like uh, as Zambians, mm -hmm. it's nice uh, in in beans. Yes, it's really nice. Just uh, cook your beans nicely. Mm -hmm. When it is near ready, mm -hmm. to be ready, then you just throw in some basil. Okay. Not too much basil, just a, just a little. Okay, so you don't boil with them. You you need to wait for beans to be ready. That's yeah, when yeah, you to throw. Yeah, to be ready, then you throw, so that uh, the aroma will be there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Mbogambo. So what can you tell the viewers, especially those who want to start planting spices on their do's and don'ts? Uh, yes, uh, when you want to do those spices, you want to plant them. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. yeah, they are not so difficult, but they are difficult uh, okay. in bad weather. Okay. Yes, yeah, you just have to plant your seeds, get your seeds, you plant it. So in bad weather, meaning rain season? Yeah, meaning rain season or when it is very hot. Okay. Yes, yeah. So you just plant your seed, you water it nicely. Mm -hmm. Then when it germinates, you have to look after it, watering it just like that, until it is ready to be transplanted. When it is ready to be transplanted, you either plant it in a bed or in a pot. 
yeah then when you water don't put too much water but you have just to put little water for just to allow the moisture so that it is there so that the plant doesn't die right. yes um, thank you so much all right thank you all right there you heard it for yourself that's all we could accommodate from mujenje farm thank you for watching and thank you so much to the production crew my name is mutinsa nyangan see you next time bye for now <laughs>